Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and I want to share with you the making of this uh, soap that I call Iceberg, and it's got some swirls of blue and white, and it was not free of issues, so I had to kind of fight with it a little bit, but once I cut it, I was finally like, uh, hallelujah, it kind of turned out because it kind of had to glob it into the mold, so I'll get to that, and I'll talk about that as I make the soap, but I also want to say that I got this great... Um, kit or this co collection of micas from Carrie Thornsbury from Nurture Soap. She's such a great person. I always enjoy talking with her when I see her at conferences. Well, she's got this assortment of micas that you wouldn't believe and I got this assortment from her called um, just their all, all of our micas. I think that's what it's called. And there's 117 individually jarred Micas and it's like to an artist it's like a candy store and I'll be talking a little bit more about that in a, another video because there's just so much to talk, talk about um, but I want to show you this um, this sparkly glitter that came with it there's about five or six different colors of um, sparkle to it including an environmental um, mica which means it's kinder on the environment and it was spread on top of this soap and it gives this nice shiny sheen instead of the individual little dots of iridescent color and it really played out well in this iceberg soap so um, I think that's all I want to say right now and uh, let's get on with the making of this iceberg um, soap that I had to fight with a bit. Okay I'm going to blend my coconut milk and oils, kale and clay And I'm going to speed you through this part so that uh, we can get to the good stuff. Now I want quite a bit of white for this soap. So I'm going to pour a good amount. there. And I want some for the top as well. And my accent colors are all blue. Got three different types of blue using these micas that I couldn't wait to use. And some of them have a nice spark, sparkle in it. I actually have enough for another color, so I'm gonna use a really fairly dark blue. Okay, so let me get the white. So let me get a majority of that white poured in here. I realize I didn't stir out any bubbles, so I can still do that. Okay, so I got this idea as I kind of slept on it a little bit. And I realized that when you pour your soaps, that whatever you have on the bottom of your mixing bowl tends to fill up the mold last. So, I'm making sure I add the blues last because I want them to end up on the bottom.
sky blue. Need a little more mica. Adds a little bit of yellowness to the blue, which I didn't want to get. And this is only slightly yellowed, but I'm gonna stop there because as soap cures, it becomes a little more white. This is a lot more thick than I wanted, so we'll get something different than I originally planned. But let's give it a go anyway. I think I'm going to have to do an in the pot swirl to get it to swirl nicely. So I'm going to get this lighter one in there first. Nice thing is that all these colors are compatible since they're all blue so I can stir it up quite a bit with a spoon before I pour it. So let's get a little bit more of this white on top. And I'm going to stir this quite a bit, but I'm slicing through it like a knife. As with most of my frosted types of soaps, I'm going to add some lateral texture first. I'm first just smoothing these out a little bit. And then just add some lines of texture going this way. Now let's see how this white is pretty thick, so I'm going to have to see if I can blend that a little. Nope, it's hard as a rock. So let me see if it's worth spreading on my thick frosting. 
still not worth losing this. So harden up like this on me in a long time. It does create a different sort of texture that is not what I was planning, but I can live with it with the name Iceberg. It doesn't want to cooperate like usual. bit more soap on this end so I'm trying to work that way down too. I think I know why this sped up and it's the Artica fragrance that is a part of the fragrance of this one. I keep forgetting it does speed up sometimes. I forget that. Okay. So I'm just something called, well, it is environmental glitter and it's called Super Sparkles, and I got that from Carrie also. Thanks, Carrie. And I think it's going to save the day because it's very shimmery. I'm going to spray that down and call it done. That's a great shine. Okay, we will come back for the cut. Okay, let's cut into this. And I do expect some bubbles because it started to harden before I could finish pouring. But I like the swirls. And you know, I can never plan this, and I never try to plan this um, to be sort of globular. Um, but when it happens, I really do like it. The last time I did that was with a leather soap, and the acceleration happened, and it really looked like Starry Starry Night. And just kind of did it again. And uh, so I had named this soap iceberg and I think I can make the case that if you looked at icebergs from above like a satellite view it would kind of look like this so thank goodness and really no air bubbles yet I think we'll find some though I was taking some photos of the loaf up close and it really did look like uh, the terrain of snow and ice on top too so maybe this is not the feel that I thought it would be. There's I believe four kinds of blue that I used in this from Carrie Thornsbury's new assortment of micas. 
I purchased from Nurture Soap for quite a long time. And it's just been so cool to see how they develop all these micas. I think, and I don't know too much, but that they are really uh, into the technology of making these micas. She's got more than any vendor that I've seen so far. I've got some other vendors that I really like too, but when it comes to nuance of color, I think uh, Nurture Soap really carries so much. This one turquoise-like color called Synergy that's just unbelievable to look at. Oh, that is really cool. Um, so that the white was thicker when it poured, it, it did that. This has a lot of depth because of the types of blue in it. I must have pounded the heck out of this thing because when it globbed in there, I just pounded this down on the counter. Thought my teeth would fall out, but they didn't. And I used the bio glitter on the top that really has a white shimmer to it. That's really beautiful. There's a couple bubbles. Thanks for watching everybody. I think um, probably nearing the end of my winter and holiday series of soaps because now we have to get ready for other seasons. But it's been fun. Did some traveling to Panama and I thought that I would not be able to continue like, making and posting the videos but I just discovered that there's a button on YouTube where I can have the videos uh, upload themselves while I'm away so that worked great. But I had to work hard to make like two, actually three videos in a row so that I could do that. All right, so this is the last cut and I'm going to clean these up and take photos of them. And I want to thank you all for watching and um, please subscribe if you haven't done that yet, especially if you're a regular watcher. Uh, I would really like that and then you get updates on when I have uh, uploaded new videos and we'll take it from there. Thanks for the comments too and we'll see you soon. All right, bye everybody.